Hello, my name is Mr. Robert, and I am the teacher librarian at two elementary schools here in West Seattle. I work at Rocks Hill Elementary School and Highland Park Elementary School. And right now, I should be at work checking books out to kids and reading stories to kids, but I'm at home, just like you are. I want you to know that the people who work in schools teachers, principals, custodians, lunchroom managers, office staff, counselors, nurses, we all miss you. And we wish that we were back in school and we're hoping that we can see you soon at your school. Today, I'm gonna do a um, math lesson with you. I'm gonna teach you a math game. Maybe it's one you've learned before already in your class, so we're gonna review it. Um, we're going to do a math game, and I'm going to do a read aloud to you. We're going to do some movement, and we're going to end with a quick image. So let's get started, okay? Now I need to move my computer so you can see the game as I'm playing it. All right. All right. So for this game, you're going to need three things. You're going to need some paper. You're going to need something to write with, and you're going to need... A dice, right? Um, it can be one that has numbers on it or one that has the dots on it. Either way is fine. And this game is called Fives and Tens. And for this game, you can have as many players play as you want. I'm going to play it with two players. I'm going to have player number one and player number two. And I'm going to be both players. And um, one thing that I'm going to do to um, help when I'm keeping score is to just write down H for hundreds, T for tens, and O for ones, right? So as I'm keeping score, I'm going to put my score in these columns, right? H for the hundreds column, hundreds place, T for the tens place, or so the tens columns, and the zero for the ones column, all right? You don't have to do that, but that may make it easy for you when you're adding up your score. All right, each player, on your turn, you get two rolls of the dice. And one of the rolls of the dice, you're going to add a score by counting by fives, and the other roll, you're going to add a score by counting by tens. On your first roll, you have to decide, okay, am I going to count by fives or tens on this roll? And then your second roll has to be the opposite. All right, I'm going to start playing so you can see how this works, okay? So I'm player number one right now, and this is my first roll on my first turn. And I got a four. All right, so four is not the highest number on here, but it's not a really low number. So I think I'm going to count by tens with this number. And so I count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm put, gonna put my score of 40, four tens and zero ones, put my score of 40 down. That's my first roll. Now I'm gonna take a second roll. And on this roll, I have to count by fives because I've already counted by tens on my other roll. So, and I got a one. So counting by fives, I have five. So I put my score of five here. And now I have to add the total from my two rolls. Uh, starting in my ones column, zero plus five equals five, and then four tens here. So I have a score of 45. Player one has a score of 45. All right, now it's player number two's turn. And player number two is gonna do the first roll, and it's a one. So that's a low number, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna use this for my counting by fives. So I'm gonna take a score of five there. Now, this video is going to be watched by second graders and third graders, and some of you may be comfortable using a traditional algorithm where you add your numbers vertically in columns, the ones column and then the tens column and then the hundreds column, but some of you may not be comfortable with this. So player number two is going to add using uh, cubes and tens, all right? So this is five. So in my ones, I'm going to put five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So there's my five. And my next roll is going to have to be counting by 10. So 
I got two, so I'm gonna count by tens, 10, 20. So I'm gonna put my two tens here. There's one rod. There's my other 10. And now I'm gonna add these up. I've got five ones, and in my tens column, I've got two tens for a score of 25. So player number one, after the first round, player number one has 45, player number two has 25. Now, you can play up to whatever number you want to. You can play all the way up to 500, see which person gets to 500 first. You could play up to 200. Today, for you, I'm gonna play with each player taking three turns. And whichever player has the highest score after three turns is gonna be the winner. So this is one turn, two rolls in one turn. So player number one has had his turn and player number two has had his first turn. Now I'm gonna do a second turn for each of the players and then a third turn for each of the players. And whoever has the highest score is gonna win. That's what I'm playing to today. All right, so player number one, first roll, a six. That's a very high number, so I'm gonna count by tens on this one. I'm gonna count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six tens is 60, so I'm gonna write my score of 60 right there. And now I need a score for counting by fives. Come back here, it's a one. So I'm gonna count by fives, five. So I'm gonna put my five here, and I'm gonna add up player one score, five plus five equals 10. 10 is zero ones and one ten. So I put my one ten here in the tens column. I've got one ten and four tens plus six tens equal eleven tens. So I can't put eleven tens here. I'm going to take ten of those tens and I'm going to move that one hundred. Ten tens is a hundred. I'm going to move it here to the hundreds column. There's my one hundred. And that left me one ten here from a hundred and ten. And now I'm going to bring my 100 down, 100, and I've got 110 for player number one. All right, now it's player number two's turn. Player number two got a two. I'm going to count by tens. Two is not a very high number, and I hope on my next roll I can get a high number for counting by tens. So I'll use this one for the fives, five, ten. So I'm going to put a ten right here. And now my second roll. That has, I have to count by 10 on this one. And I have 10, 20. So I didn't get a big number, but I'll put my 20 here. All right, put my two tens, 20 in the tens column. And now I'm gonna add my ones. I've got five ones here. And in my tens, I've got two, three, four, five tens. So after two turns, Player number one has a score of 110. Player number two has a score of 55. All right, I said I'm gonna do three turns, so this is gonna be the last turn for each of the players. Player one has a big lead. Let's see if player one can hold on to that lead. First roll, a five. I'm going to count by tens on this one. That five is a pretty big number. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Put my 50 down. And now I'm gonna roll, and this is gonna be counting by fives on the second roll. And I got six, so let me count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'll put my score of 30 right here, and I'm gonna add zero plus zero plus zero equals zero ones. One 10 plus five tens plus three tens equal nine tens. So I'm gonna put my nine tens here, and then I've got one 100, and I'll move that down. So player number one has a final score of 190 points. I don't know that player number two is gonna be able to top that, but let's take a turn. Player number two's first roll, a one. Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna count by fives for this one. So I'll say five. My five down here, one, two, three, four, five. And one more roll, three. So this one I have to count by tens, right? Fives and tens. So here's 10, 20, 30. So 30, I'm gonna put three tens. There's one, 
two, and three tens. All right, so now let me add this up. I've got five ones, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten. I can't put ten ones down here. I can take that ten and put it over here. So I'm going to move it over to this column. That's the ten over there. And so now that I've moved the ten over here, I have zero over here. I had 10, but I moved that 10 over here to the tens column. All right, in my tens, I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. So after three rounds, player number one had a grand total of 190, and player number two had a grand total of 90. So in this game, player number one is the winner. Congratulations, player number one. Thanks, player number two. Now. You can play up to first person to 250 points, first person to 300 points, first person to 500, first person to 1,000. There are all different kinds of ways that you can adapt this game uh, to play for a longer time. And of course, you could play with more than just two players. Um, or if you're playing by yourself, you can have a player number one and a player number two. Lots of different ways you can have fun with this. Thanks for playing with me. And now, I'm going to bring you back down here. Hi. I want to read a book to you now. This story is called I'll Never Let You Go. I'll Never Let You Go. Well, that looks like a sweet cover. And the author of this book is Srimriti Prasadam Halls. And the illustrator is Allison Brown. I'll never let you go. I'll never let you go. When you are happy, I hear you sing. You swoop and you soar, you love everything. When you are naughty, I see that too. But I know that really, you know what to do. When you are bothered and all in a flap, I wait by your side while you snip and you snap. It's almost like I'm in a tantrum there. When you're excited, the world joins with you. You bounce all about. Look, I'm bouncing too. When you are sad and troubled with fears, I hold you close and dry all your tears. When you are sleeping, curled up so tight, I stay awake, keeping watch through the night. When you are quiet, I think with you. I help you find answers, work out what to do. When you are brave, I'm at your side, and every adventure will take in our stride. When you aren't sure, you'll feel me near. When you are scared, I will be here. For when you are high and when you are low, I'll be holding you tight. And I'll never let go. Oh, that's a sweet book. Makes me miss my kids. Um, you know what? That's the end. 
but we can do something math-like with this book. I notice on this page, there's a group of two, and there's a group of two, and there's a parent and the kid, that's a group of two, and here's another group of two, and here's another duo, and another group of two, and another duo, and another duo, and one last group of two. So you know what? If we wanted to know how many animals are on this page, we could count by twos. Let's count by twos. Actually, I'm going to let you count first by yourself. I'm at a point, and I want you to count by twos. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, what'd you get? Count with me now. Let's see how many. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen animals on this page all together. That was sweet. I'll never let you go. All right, I have been sitting for sixteen minutes. It's time to get up and move. Stand up with me. Stand up with me and we are gonna do some punches. We're gonna do some punches like this. Punch, 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 punch. When you punch, punch the air. Don't punch your brother or your sister because your parents are gonna get angry with me and I don't want them getting angry with me, okay? If you have some weights, some small weights, maybe you wanna hold them, you wanna punch, punch, punch. But we're gonna punch up to 100 and we're gonna count by fives. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 punches. Wow, I'm exhausted. All right, have a seat. We're gonna do one last thing together. And that is, I'm gonna show you a quick image. So I've got a picture here, I've got an image. And I'm gonna show it to you. I'm only gonna show it to you for three seconds. And I want you to count the number of dots that you see in this image. Now, you're only gonna see it for three seconds, so you won't have time to count one by one. So I want you to be thinking, is there a way that I can group or organize the dots that I see that will make it easier to count? I will show you the image uh, one time for three seconds, give you a little bit of time to think. If you want to, Write something down on another piece of paper with your pen. You can write down uh, either the number you see or you could do a drawing of what you see. Then I'll show you to a second time for three seconds. I'll give you time to maybe revise your thinking. Maybe you're going to change your answer. Maybe you're going to add on. And then I'm going to show you to you one last time and we'll talk about it. Are right, you ready? All right, so here's the image. Right. Write down what you saw. Remember, you can write down numbers, you can write down and you can draw a picture. Just write down what you saw. Give you a little time to think about it. And I'm going to show you the image a second time for three seconds. Here we go. All right. Now's the time to Maybe revise your thinking or maybe add on. Are you ready? How many dots did you see? Here we go, last time. And this is the time where you get to check your answer, right? And we'll talk about it together. All right. So when I look at this, I think to myself, okay, what's the easiest way for me to add all of this together? Well, I notice that all of the dice look the same and they all have two plus three, two plus three, two plus three, and I know two plus three equals five. I can count by fives. So I'm gonna count by fives really quickly. Five, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 dots I got. That's one way that you could think about this. Here's another way that you might think about it. There are all twos on the bottom and all threes at the top. So maybe I'm gonna count by threes first and then I'm gonna count by twos after that. So I'm gonna start here counting by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. All right, so I got 18 on the top and now I'm gonna count by twos, but starting at 18. So 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. I still get 30. Either way, I use to figure it out every time I should get 30. Well, that's our little lesson for today. Thank you so much for meeting with me and playing a game with me and listening to a story and moving and punching with me. And thank you for counting with me. I hope to see you here again sometime soon. But you know what I really hope? I hope to see you back in school. Take care. Bye-bye.